welcome back to another vlog. Um, today's vlog is going to be a mix of quite a few different things and there's some things that I really want to show you and some things I've bought that I want to show you. It's also going to be a what I eat in a day as well in collaboration with HelloFresh. Um, you guys know that I have used their service since I think it was around summer, like mid-summer. Um, Lily finally ground me down and ever since I've been like, yep, okay, you were right. <laughs> it's incredible. Um, so I'm going to be showing you what we're making for dinner tonight as well as breakfast that I have just made. And this is very heavy. It's a substantial breakfast. It keeps you going till lunchtime and it's what Mark and I eat for breakfast every day. It's just like, you don't even have to think about it. We just make sure that we have these supplies in, can put it together, get some fruit in your diet before like 9 a.m., which is great. Um, and it's just Greek yogurt topped with raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, with a bit of granola over the top. Sometimes I do add a dash of maple syrup. So does Mark as well. We have sweet tooths and so it depends how I'm feeling. I go with the flow. Sometimes I add some maple syrup on top but sometimes I don't and I think today I'm all right actually as it is. Um, but yeah I really wanted to show you dinner recipes and how we use HelloFresh and give you my top tips for using the service um, because we eat mostly veggie in the house. In fact I think we've kind of only made veggie slash pescatarian food for like the last year and a half now um, and I found the service so handy for finding new ways to make fun vegetarian food that isn't just like a stir fry. Um, there's something really exciting that we're making for dinner tonight. So yeah, I love food. I'm thinking about dinner already, despite the fact that it is eight o'clock right now. This is actually quite a late breakfast for me, um, but I had a bit, just had like a restful Monday morning. I had a mini lay-in till like half seven. That kind of is like a lay-in for me. Normally I get up around six, half six. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat my breakfast probably not take much footage for the rest of the morning because I'm just going to be sat at my laptop um, doing my expenses, that's always fun, and just kind of generally sorting out emails and stuff like that. Then I'm off to Pilates and I'm going to pick up a parcel on the way. So when I come back, let's check in. I'm back from Pilates, I just had to put a little bit more concealer on my red cheeks because I got a bit, woo, got a bit hot, had a shower, feel fantastic after that. It was very, very nice. Um, I can never take footage there because it's always a class of other people, but I did take a photo when I went with Mark yesterday. I will insert that here just so you can get a vibe of the Pilates studio. It is so nice. I always feel so, so relaxed when I am there. But like I said, I didn't film anything this morning because I was just like sending hen emails. There you go, that's what I was doing this morning. Sending hen emails. That just made me hate myself <laughs> so much because it was almost word for word what Dolly Alderton wrote in her Everything I Know About Love, about hen emails. I was just like, oh my word. <laughs> I am like ticking off all of the cliches, naming people who hadn't paid deposits. Like I hated myself for sending that email. I love, love my friends and I'm very excited to be planning a hen do, but I don't think it's really my forte, um, but we're getting there. I'm very excited. If anyone has any hen party planning tips, how to run a rather large hen do and for things to run smoothly, I am all ears. Anyway, I wanted to show you two things that have just arrived. Um, these, um, Mark ordered, bless him, on my Amazon Prime account, but still. Mark has a friend at work who had a spare one of these and gave one to Mark. And then I showed my grandma yesterday a photo of one of these and she just thought it was straight up the most adorable thing that she'd ever seen. Jacuzzi Man tea strainers. So you pop it, on the corner of your tea and he looks like he's sitting in a jacuzzi and there's a his and a hers one and I just think they are like the cutest things I've ever seen and my grandma she absolutely loved them and she loves tea she was like oh I've got this very fancy loose leaf tea um and me and your granddad absolutely love it and I said how do you strain it she uses a like traditional strainer now they can use these Mark was like oh let's buy her some genius he is a very good grandson-in-law, yeah, that's what he is to them. The other thing I did was make a Glossier order. Um, and I hadn't made a Glossier order since May. I know, hold the phone. Um, I picked up some of the Perfecting Skin Tints because I was really low on the light and medium of the previous formulation and they've recently reformulated them. So I kind of just wanted to see what the fuss was about. I just really like the original and kind of want to see how the uh, new formula performs. I also picked up an extra of Cloud Paint in Dusk. Um, I really like this shade, but really the main reason I made this order was because Glossier have reformulated their Generation G lipsticks, which you guys know I was a massive 
massive fan of. However, the packaging was rubbish. The packaging was not good at all. And they always sort of tended to like crumble and fall out and just slide around in the tube and make a bit of a mess actually. And it made the more stronger, deeper colors quite difficult to apply if they were like twizzling around. So I went online and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna rebuy cake because cake is my favorite. I've almost worn my other one down to a nub. Um, and I just want to see what the new formula is like. So, oh, much sturdier packaging. It's like a little bit shorter maybe, but much thicker. Um, oh yeah, it looks like a proper, that looks like a proper lipstick, right? Much more substantial, still got like the Glossier, like very similar packaging, but it just feels, yeah, ooh. Click could be more satisfying, but it's fine, we'll let it go. Um, so I went to pick up cake and then I was like, oh, and then maybe I'll grab Zip. I think Zip is the red. And then I was like, oh, but what about the brown, Leo? And then I was like, oh, what about the pink, like? And I was like, oh, Crush and Jam, the deeper berries. Now it's autumn. Yes, I ended up buying every single one. But I thought, you know, I've taken one for the team here, you know, putting the research in. Um, so I thought now I would insert like a little swatcheroony section, um, swatching them all on my lips and let you know what I think um, and kind of zoom you in. Um, Cause someone was saying that the swatches aren't very good online. I feel like they're, they're kind of decent. They have them on like different skin tones and they have videos so you can actually see how it works. If you fancy seeing me do that, then uh, that's what the next probably minute of this video will be. Okay, this is cake. This is my favorite one. They feel very waxy and very hard. I feel like there's not a lot of pigment there, but these are supposed to be a very sheer, sheer lip color. I feel like the bullet is much bigger. It sort of makes application a little bit more tricky, especially if you've got quite small lips like me. But there you go. That is cake. I really like cake. It just looks natural. Very, very similar to my natural lip color. I like it. Leo is like a cocoa brown. I feel like this one is showing up much more in real life, like rather than on the camera. It definitely has like deepened my lips a little bit, does make them look a little bit more brown. Mm, kind of like a nice autumnal nude. Let's go for like next. And this was the second color that I ever bought. This is kind of a mauvey shade. I feel like that's given a slight like purple tinge to my lips, like a little bit kind of pinky, a little bit lilac-y. I feel like you can really see the color difference um, when you like zoom out and see my whole face. Um, yeah, I like that actually. The next one I'm gonna go for is Crush. Um, I really liked this one originally. This is definitely more of like a bright pink. This one for me fell right out of the original bullet and made a real mess and made it really hard to apply. Ooh, yes. Um, the thing I like about these is because they are so sheer, you can be a little bit messy on application. You don't need like a lip liner or anything like that. I feel like that one really like brightens up my face. Let's go for Jam next. Um, Jam is like a deeper, whoa, yeah, that looks like a black currant, like kind of Clinique honey type shade. My lips are quite pigmented, so I feel like on me that looks very similar to the last one, which I think was Crush. Um, I, I quite like it though, but I feel like it is quite similar. I feel like you definitely don't need both. Then finally we have Zip. I really like this one. This is like such a nice red. Oh, love. I love this one. Um, if you're into like red lipsticks, but you just want something super sheer, I absolutely love it. Um, I would say this one and cake are my top picks. So here's what I've got for lunch. And I will admit that it doesn't look like the most appetizing thing ever. But this is like crispy, cheesy, bread crummy kale that is actually super tasty. And then underneath I've got a rigatoni and it's a bit of a take on a mac and cheese. It's an Anna Jones recipe. You guys know that we love Anna Jones recipes. Um, I will try and find it online and link it down below for you. If not, I will link up the book that we got it from. It was supposed to have celeriac in, um, but I actually ended up eating the celeriac on a different day. So I used sweet potato instead and you basically use like sweet potato, a bit of milk, a bit of cheese. Make this like really gorgeous cheesy kind of salty sauce. Put it through your rigatoni, put kale on top and bake it. And it's really, really nice. I'm going to serve up a portion of that for my lunch. I just gave it a whiz in the microwave and I've still got that much left. This is gonna like feed me for a good couple of days for lunch. Um, oh, it just, if there's a way to make kale tasty, it's to stick loads of cheese in it. It's got walnuts in as well, which just adds a really nice crunch. I've got my squash, because I'm a child. And uh, yeah, that's my lunch ready to go. This day really seems too good to be true, but my HelloFresh box has just arrived, because it's Monday. Um, I order my box to come on a Monday. And that would be like my first tip about using the service, is you can have it delivered to you whenever you want. You pick the day of the week that's most convenient. And for me, I love having it come on a Friday. I do a food shop just for like breakfast bits, lunchtime bits, any extra things we need during the week. I get that delivered really early in the morning. So that is like done by 8 a.m. on a Monday. And then my HelloFresh box comes normally like by midday. And if you're not in, they just leave it outside. It's just so convenient. Oh, free bar of chocolate this week. Very nice. 
Um, there's loads of different boxes you can get. You can get a classic box, you can get a family box, you can get a rapid box that has meals that are really quick and easy to do. I think most are like around the 20 minute mark, which is great. Um, we go for the classic box, but we do a veggie box. So you can say that that's what your preference is. You would prefer vegetarian recipes. So each week we get um, three vegetarian recipes and you can do it, I think for two, three or four days a week. We go for three days a week because it tends to be that Mark or I are out like one or two evenings in the week. And I find these portion sizes to be very, very generous. So quite often there's leftovers. And so we find that like three meals a week kind of does us Monday to Friday, which is just awesome. And the whole service is so flexible. If one week you're not in at all or you're on holiday or something, you can skip it that week, pick it up the next week. Um, I just love that it is very, very flexible. And I love the app. Um, Lily told me to get the app and that has just like changed the whole thing for me because you can just go in, it has all of the recipes in there and you can see what it's like automatically selected for you the following week and you can go in, look at all of the other recipes and change the selection if you want to. Um, quite often the vegetarian option contains halloumi sometimes and I'm not a big fan of halloumi but I just go in, I'm like, no, I don't want the halloumi, I want the chickpea and feta falafels. Uh, that's what we're gonna be having tonight. Um, so I just love that you really do get a box that is tailored to you and your needs and your tastes and your likes and dislikes. So this week we have got chickpea and feta falafel. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be making tonight. A super green stir fry, three of your five a day, and a roasted Mexican corn. And um, we've had something similar to this before. It was really, really good. And it takes 20 minutes. Oh, it's one of the rapid recipes, that is great. So I've got three bags in here, um, one for each meal, which makes it so handy. You just look here, uh, it says meal bag number eight in the corner, meal bag number eight. There you go, it all matches up. And in here, I've just got all of the pre-portioned ingredients, so they're just good to go. On each of the recipe cards, you have six steps, and it tells you how long it's gonna take you to cook, um, how many portions of your five a day you're getting. So yeah, I just pop these all in the fridge and then uh, we're good to go. I also have a little discount code for you. I will pop the link down below, but if when you get to check out, you put in the code hello Anna edit that's me you will get 50% off of your first and second boxes um it's what I did when I first signed up and it meant that I got each box for like just over 15 pounds absolute bargain three mils for just over 15 pounds what a deal we've come to the painting pottery cafe which my sister got me for my birthday present because I'm the worst person in the world to buy um presents for in general I'll show you our little pots we made these and now we've come back to paint them it's like the best Monday ever this is mum's she made two. She loved it. She's very professional. This is my sister's gigantic egg cup. Oh, oh, wow. That's so cool. And then these my two. Got like a little pot and then like a little dish. Ombre, is that sunrise? Sunrise. Holly, love that, on like a millennial pink. I went for an edited life theme. I have the railings color and then the O'Donnell in the middle. And then that looks so bad on camera. <laughs> it's supposed to be marble. It will look better glazed. Hopefully, and then the color on the outside, you see is a nice little theme. And then mum just won't stop painting. <laughs> And this was her first one, and then this was her second one, which she's just repainted the whole thing and started from scratch. I've got like a Rudolph red nose, it's freezing out there. It's got so, so cold, and I didn't take a scarf, what a fool. Um, but that was incredible. Very relaxing, actually. And I can highly recommend, especially if you have someone who is just a real pain to buy gifts for. I feel like that is a real crowd pleaser. There were some eight year old boys who, honestly, we didn't even know they were there because they were so quiet painting their pots. It's just, everyone loved it. My mum really enjoyed it as well. Um, I really love that, um, but they have to like glaze them and cook them and stuff. So we're going to pick them up in a week's time. And then I don't know what I'm gonna use mine for. Maybe like nuts. But now it is definitely time for dinner. In fact, it is like past dinner time. It's gone seven and I normally like to do dinner for like seven, half seven. 
Um, the recipe we're going to use today is the chickpea and feta falafel with sweet potato and feta beans. If I can find the recipe for this, I will link it down below for you. Um, but it sounds really tasty. And I have never made chickpea and feta falafel before. Um, I have made falafel before, but like a long time ago. Um, so I'm looking forward to making this. I think it seems really tasty. It says 35 minutes, it's three of your five a day. It's a veggie recipe. And the first thing to do is to preheat your oven. So I'm gonna do that and then I will show you the ingredients. <laughs> My tummy is rumbling. So everything was in the paper bag, ready to go. We have dill, we have parsley, honey, mayonnaise, chickpeas, a sweet potato, a lemon, panko breadcrumbs, these feature a lot in HelloFresh boxes, and I have to say, they are such a game changer. I actually bought some from the supermarket the other day because I just feel like they make like crusts on things taste so good. A shallot, green beans, feta, that's it. The recipe says that you don't need to peel the sweet potato, which is great. I just gave it a little rinse, like a little wash and then it just says to cube it, and then drizzle it with a bit of oil and salt and pepper and a throw it in the oven. If there is one thing that the HelloFresh recipe cards have taught me, it's to always roast things in the oven on a bit of like parchment baking paper. It is such a game changer when it comes to doing washing up. I know you don't get the same kind of char grilled effect because whatever you're cooking doesn't have that direct contact with the pan, but it just makes it so easy to wash up and clean and I am all about that. So just sprinkling on a bit of salt. This is a bit of pepper. I'll give it like a little uh, move around this just to make sure that everything is coated. And then I will stick that in the oven it says for 20 to 25 minutes. So I've done all my chopping. I've got chopped parsley in there, chickpeas, lemon zest, salt, pepper, the panko breadcrumbs. I've got my lemon zest ready to go, garlic um, ready to go. I've halved my lemon. I've got the little shallot all chopped. I've chopped and trimmed. That's really hard to say, my green beans. Um, so now I'm gonna make my little falafels. I think I get a fork in there and do some mashing first and then you get in with your hands and then you add the feta. I find that sometimes it's handy to read ahead because sometimes you can be doing two things at once. So I've got a frying pan, like a really big one down here with a bit of oil in it and I'm just gonna pop the green beans in. I'm gonna add the shallots to that too. And it says to just stir fry that for five, six minutes. Before I add the feta, I'm just gonna add the garlic into the green beans. These look good. I've just been adding a little bit of water kind of as we go with these just to help them cook, but they feel like a little bit softer now. They look pretty cooked. It says to transfer them into a bowl, leave them to cool for a bit there, and then we're gonna make our falafels and stick them in here. So I've just crumbled in half of the feta into here, and then I'm just taking like a scoop and just squishing it between my palms. I mean, really, this recipe, it's like three separate things. You've got the falafel, you've got the sweet potatoes, you've got the beans, and it's like quite a few components. And you've made it all from scratch, and you've made it with like so little fuss as well. It did say to make three per person. I think I'm making them slightly too large here, but it's fine, Mark can have three, I don't mind having two. This is the fun bit, taking your falafel, popping them in the pan. Um, same pan that we used for the beans, it just said to give it a little wipe down with kitchen roll and pop a little bit more oil in it. Um, but these don't take long, it said two to three minutes each size, so I guess you're just kind of browning them. There you go. I mean, have you ever seen green beans like these? I know when I normally make green beans, it doesn't look as good as this. Um, I just finished them off uh, by crumbling the remaining feta through them, the lemon zest, juicing half of the lemon, adding a little bit of oil, and now I'm just gonna toss it around. Now it's time to plate up. Um, it said to mix the remaining dill with the mayonnaise, so Mark's got his own little dill mayonnaise. Here come the falafels. These were really, really quick to cook, didn't take long at all. The green beans look so good. I have to say, I'm not crazy about green beans, like, I, I like them, um, but they come up a lot in the box, and it's kind of forced me out of my comfort zone a little bit, and I definitely enjoy them more than I used to. Then finally we have the potato on the now very easy to clean baking sheet, um, so just Divvying it up between us. And there you go, there's the finished dinners. Mark's one, my one. I'm quite proud of that. I feel like it looks really tasty. And like I said, it's three completely homemade components all from scratch. The falafel, the sweet potato, the green beans, everything's got like a little twist on it. Um, I think Mark's gonna really enjoy that. Mm. Nice, just good though. Cheers on one of these, yeah. Mm. Come on. No, too good to me. Maybe two and a half. 
It's super chill, um, Mark is just finishing off his work and then we will probably watch a Grand Designs. We love Kevin, we're obsessed with Grand Designs at the moment so I'll probably do that. And then um, I might finish off my book, or we'll just, just have an after dinner mint in bed. Um, finish off my book, What Would the Spice Girls Do? by Lauren Bravo. It is very, very good. It's bringing back some serious Spice Girl memories including, I just loved the Impulse body spray that they did. It was the best body spray and like every now and again I get a whiff of something that smells really like it and I wonder if it's on eBay I just I just want to smell it again it was just the best smell and I use them for my microphones fun fact I truly believed when I was younger that the one thing that was standing in the way of me becoming a pop star was my inability to keep my eyes open underwater so that I wouldn't be able to do like the underwater in shower music video scenes I really believed that was the one thing that was going to hold me back Oh youth, isn't it funny? Also, I just wanted to mention that I am very much into Strictly Come Dancing this year. I am massively team Joanne. Um, I cannot stop watching it. I cannot stop watching his reaction videos. I even watch It Takes Two. It is great. I'm like arranging all of my Saturdays around it. But that is it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get changed into my pajamas, finally take off these jeans. And um, yeah, like I said, watch Grand Designs, eat some more after dinner mints. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Um, like I said, there is a discount code. I will link it down below for you. Um, check it out. I just absolutely adore the service. So I will see you on Sunday the brand new video. Bye.